So I've been seeing a ton of pins on Pinterest lately about painting upholstery. This sounds totally crazy to me, but it would save us a ton of money since reupholstering furniture is so expensive. Sounds like a perfect Pinterest pass or fail challenge to me. Let's see if it works. So step one is to mix your paint. We've got a quart of satin latex paint here, and we're gonna mix it at a one-to-one -one ratio with something called textile medium. This basically just keeps your paint from being too stiff. Then we're gonna water it down a little bit and put our first coat on. One-to-one -one ratio, so I'm gonna put some more in. So before we can paint, we need to prepare the fabric by spraying it down with some water. I don't really know why we're doing this, but that's what it said on Pinterest, so we're gonna do it. Maybe it keeps the paint from globbing up or something? Here we go. Cool. So let's start painting. It's actually going on pretty smooth, but it is kind of tough to get inside all those little tufting crevices. So I forgot to spray the seat of the chair down with water before I started painting, and it turns out it was a lot harder to get the paint to go on, so I guess that's why you're supposed to spray it down. Okay, so here we are, and obviously this is the exact same chair. Just kidding. But I did want you guys to see the next step in the process, so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. This is a chair I painted a couple days ago, painted it white, and if I'm being honest, it took like six or seven coats to even get it to this point. Between each coat, I sanded it down with extra fine sandpaper, and just a little bit of pressure is fine. And in theory, this is supposed to make the fabric feel soft again. So once you're finished sanding, you're all done. But I like to put some embellishments on there to make it your own. So you could do a nail head trim. I'm gonna go with a French farmhouse stripe. So I've got it taped off and I'm gonna go ahead and paint my second coat. All right, so let's pull off the tape and see how it looks. So my tape didn't really work very well. So the lines definitely aren't perfect, but it looks pretty good. Let's put the cushion back on. Hmm, okay, I'm a little torn on whether to pass or fail this because while it definitely looks a whole lot better, it's not very comfy, the fabric really feels stiff. I don't think I would want this in my living room, but it might be perfect for your four-legged friend. So based on the crunchiness, I'm definitely gonna have to give this a big old fail, but hey, I got this chair for $15 at Goodwill, so no big loss there. Maybe we'll do better next time on my Pinterest Pass or Fail Challenge. Oh, <laughs>